Shane, number one, is asking about any possible coaching additions. That would only happen if somebody left. Um, or it would be an analyst kind of a thing. So I know people were talking about adding another coach because Telly Lockett, um, who was a high school legend, coached down here, also coached at uh, a couple other colleges, and was an analyst here last year. He's now going to be back on field at FAU or Marshall, Marshall, sorry. Yeah, with Charles Huff, the coordinator from Alabama, who's now the first time head coach at Marshall. Uh, Telly Lockett's going to go coach up there, so he's on field. So people were thinking, oh, we can add somebody to the staff. Telly Lockett did not have an on-field coaching role here. So you have another or room for more analysts or off-field quality control, whatever you want to call it or whatever uh, his official position was this past season. Um, but no, so we don't have room right now for another on-field coach. The only way that, that we could is if somebody decided to seek employment elsewhere. Now, that's been uh, rumored from a couple message boards, most notably uh, LSU message board, that they're looking at Blake Baker to go over there to LSU as their linebackers coach. Um, I don't know how real that is. Um, I do know that you know, that uh, individual covering that team does have some sources and has been right about things in the past. So I don't think that he just made it. It was it was one of the, the writers for the 247 site who uh, posted that, not just some general slappy in the, in the you know, comments and everything, because anybody can just go on there. But it was one of the actual journalists. Um, so I'm not going to say that he's wrong, but I'm not sure how right that speculation currently is. Um but unless or until someone were to, from the staff, of the 10 assistant coaches, seek shelter elsewhere and find a job elsewhere, we don't have any room for any additional on-field assistance because we currently have 10. Um, the thing about it is, you know, if there's money around, we might could possibly bring in somebody as an off-field analyst, which, you know, famously Alabama has taken fired head coaches and coordinators and put them in analyst roles. Mike Loxley was an analyst for a year before going on field as offensive coordinator before getting the uh, Maryland job. I mean, you have big names in the coaching industry who are like, you know what? I'm going to go to Nick Saban's uh, school for wayward coaches for a year, recreate my image uh, off field, maybe go on field there, uh, and then uh, elevate or you know recreate my career. I don't know if we have that kind of money, but that would be the way uh, currently that Miami would have to add additional uh, bodies or people to the staff would be analyst off field roles. I am understanding half of Shane's second question. So hopefully uh, Cam, you, you can read between the lines here. Any news on scholarship number increases due to COVID? Mm -hmm. I understand that, but the second part or an overload in transfer portal. I think that uh, that's just saying it's the same thing that we talked about a couple weeks ago. Uh, if the NCAA is going to like, well, first of all, an increase in scholarships. Miami is not at 85 scholarships to begin with. So we don't necessarily need additional scholarships on the roster. We probably would with an incoming class. So I think that they did change like the number you can have on the roster for this year. But the thing about it is it's the incoming counters where they put a hard cap on 25, regardless of if it was a transfer or incoming recruit. They said, this year you can only add 25 people to your roster, period. Now, if the second part, I believe, if you're saying, okay, if we're going to count transfers differently and say, okay, you can have 21 high school kids or up to 25 high school kids, recruit recruits, uh, prep school or prep to college recruits, and then a specific number of transfers as a different bucket, um, then you could say, okay, Miami has only signed 21 from high school. We've signed four this year. If you count Jared Williams, the right tackle, counted forward uh, to this current year, 21, because he, he was a late summer addition. So he wasn't a, a 19 scholarship. He was a 20 scholarship. And then you got three transfers in uh, Charleston Rambo, DeAndre Johnson, and uh, Tyreek Stevenson. Then you can say, okay, cool. If you get 10 transfers or whatever, I've only used three of my 10 transfers. Now you basically have seven additional you know, scholarship slots. So if you were trying to go out and get some guys like the Pali Gato Ote, whatever his name is, I, I butchered that a lot. Uh, but the linebacker from USC, 
if you're looking at a defensive back from somewhere else, if you're looking for other guys to add in from the transfer way, then you can say, okay, well, if we just change it and say you can get 10 transfers and those don't count towards your 25 high school incoming counters, then that you know would open up additional numbers basically for Miami. But at current, we're full. You know, we uh, signed 21 high school kids, three transfers, that's 24, plus counting Jared Williams forward from last summer to make 25. That's our 25 income encounters for this year, boomed up. So unless or until, again, you change and say you can bring in more scholarship players overall, so you raise that 25 cap, or you alleviate that 25 cap, uh, and or you're saying, okay, we're going to just give you a separate quantity of transfer numbers that would be the transfer number, not the overall 25 hard cap number. There's no room for Miami to add other people until – August when they would have to count for the 2021 class. So I'm going to summarize that from my own understanding. Basically, there are scholarship limitations, but this particular year, there's a six year of eligibility that is being given as an opportunity for anyone seniors this year for anyone. Mm -hmm. Um, Therefore, there has to be a number of scholarships and roster spots that are that are opened up for each particular program mm-hmm. to, to accompany those, to accommodate those. Mm-hmm. Okay. In terms of the transfer portal, there is a limitation being placed on the number of transfers on any particular roster. No, 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 no. Transfers count same as recruits. So you can add 25 people regardless of how you okay. add them. So you could have 85 transfers on your roster and they could all be scholarship players and you could have, if it, no. if it were possible. If, okay. I mean, if it were possible, technically. There, there, there's no limitation on transfers. No. Okay. Okay. Mm-mm. All right. But the big thing is, again, this year with the hard cap of 25, you can't play the numbers games. Like, again, we counted Jared Williams forward from last year to 21. There is none of that. Da, 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 da. This is it. in this year, 2021's class. You can add 25 players, hard cap, period. And that's where you start to have numbers kind of shrink because you can't you can't play these numbers games with guys who are on campus now. So Tyreek Stevenson, per se, you would say, hey, I want to count him forward to 22. That gives me another scholarship right now. I can recruit another transfer. I can recruit another high school kid. I can do anything. Nope. Boom. He's one of those 25. Because of what you're stating, I would think that the only thing that would be affecting these numbers, looking over the entirety of college football, the only thing is this extra year of eligibility because obviously the transfer portal, some schools are going to have more additions than subtractions and other schools are going to have more subtractions than additions, but it's all comes out in the wash because it's, it's, it's the same pool of players that are right. going back and forth to different schools. So it's not like somebody had to say, we need to address the transfer portal situation and change the number of players allowed on a roster or number of scholarships. Okay. Correct. Right, right, right. 